Is this a subscription box that just sends you a different trebuchet every month? You gotta really like trebuchets. What do you stand for? <laughs> Take off! Take off! <laughs> <laughs> he destroyed the oh screen! Oh my gosh, Matt. You're not gonna like it. Did <laughs> <laughs> you just choke? Instant Are karma. You rolling that? That's the best. I accidentally squeezed this too hard and it <laughs> shot in my mouth. <laughs> I it literally I, went oh. I really hope I was rolling. <laughs> Intro clip that, Robert. Trying to be mysterious. I'm trying to be a little strange. <laughs> You're winning. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? You guys, welcome to the right side of YouTube, where we're looking at 10 strange mystery boxes. That means 10 mystery boxes that, why do they exist? What's on the left side? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Guys, we're looking at 10 of the strangest mystery boxes that are on the internet. They, they actually exist. No way. Each of us are going to rank them on a scale of 1 to 10. So if Matt and I both rank it a 6, it's a 12. Wow, Matt. And that's a dope because it's above 10. It's above 10. Yeah, if it's below 10 or equal to 10, it's a no. That's the facts. Now let's go ahead and get to ranking. And stay tuned to the very end to see which is the strangest mystery box on the internet. The dopest mystery box that we rate is the strangest one we believe on the internet. Yes. Stay to the end. We're gonna decide that. Yes. Bug box. Oh no. I'm done. Oh, Pat, this was a light to buy, and I can't believe it actually happened. Um, let me know when I can terminate you. Wait, what are these cookies? Are these bug cookies? Yeah. Cooking with insects is fun and educational. It's super healthy. Yeah, okay. Humane and environmentally friendly. What is in a bug that's healthy? What are there that? like A and B vitamins? Protein <laughs> and no calories, basically. No calories? Okay. Not to say that we should all do it. I'm just saying. I bet you could somehow argue there's health benefits to eating rubber, you sicko. And what are the physical, okay, so it makes you physically healthier. What does it do to your mental state? Got to diminish it. No, bro, here's the thing. Like we ha we're we having this response right now because it's just not a part of our culture. People go over to other cultures and they're just eating bugs all day long and then they're, they're looking at peanut butter or hot dogs and they're like, Americans are insane. What is that? And they're like, I'll stick with my bug. Straight up. <laughs> you had it's me just, until the lesson. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with my bugs. I'm not even kidding. Like I I've seen them prepare it to where you're like, oh, that looks good. I'd never touch it, but I can see why you're eating it now, and I can see why it's a staple of your culture. So I respect that. Okay, add the card. Why don't you go ahead, Tanner? Sure. I have no problem with bugs. Oh, Ooh! Oh. Chalupas. This looks like maggots. You see what Chanel left here? She said spoilers. The ants, ants aren't, aren't that, that bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. Who eats this stuff? Oh! <gasps> no! Chanel ate that? that? I yeah. cannot do Chanel. that. That gave me the willies. Yeah, uh, evidently you're, you're the bravest one of us all. Do you want to eat these again? No, because it made you sick. It actually made you sick? Why'd you say it wasn't that bad? You're yeah, just trying to get us to eat them. No, because at first it wasn't that bad. Oh, you didn't update the log. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> if she would have came back, she would have said, actually. But then I threw up. Yeah. <laughs> We're going after the wrong person here. Yeah. This person said it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I'll do one with you, Pat. <laughs> there we go. You pick whatever one you, these are literally. I got just... a tiny one. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Cheers. You guys are disgusting. Well, there In you a go. good way. Thank you. You now have a cockroach in your mouth. Well, what do you think, Shanae? It tastes grassy and limey at the same time. Yeah, it tastes like Ooh. a lime just sat in grass for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Red and Link, hit me up. I got your back. <laughs> <laughs> Works for us. <laughs> Red and Link. <laughs> Red and Link, I'll go to you. Let's get mythical. On a scale of one to 10, this is probably a level a level eight. I would say nine. Okay, so we're gonna average that at 17 wow. out of 20. Because why would you want a repeating order of these things? Anyways. Yeah, that's what makes it really bad. <laughs> Guys, it's the Skulls Unlimited. Welcome to the Skeleton Crew. <laughs> Skelly crew. <laughs> Today we got the bone box. If they're not real skulls, that'd be upsetting. They're just like, I'm assuming they're fake No, skulls. they're for sure real skulls. No, they're not. Skulls Unlimited is the world's leading supplier of osteological specimens. Each of our hashtag bone box subscriptions include a mystery skull, collectible animal trading cards, <laughs> a unique animal or art item, and of course, related promotions and exclusive discounts. They just threw other things in there to make it not seem crazy that they're just throwing skulls in a box, but these are real skulls. These are real skulls, great. These are some weird boxes. I gotta give it up. We've only seen two and these are really freaking weird. These are weird, buying <laughs> buying animal skulls. Let's go ahead and get some bones. Subscribe now. Matt, what do you think we're gonna get? A rodent. Okay. Because rodents are cheap and you could just, you know, they could literally just leave some food around in their warehouse and just collect rodents and just use them for their, their Honestly true. Box. That'd be the most sustainable, not ethical, most sustainable. sustainable. We got eight rabbit heads. <laughs> now, what are the odds I open this and it's just a slice of pizza, you know? <laughs> That's just what I'm hoping pizza for. Bones. Just pizza bones. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get some boneless pizza? Let me get that pizza boneless. It's a, 
It's a raccoon claw. Wow, that's, that's a weird. That's literally it? Four dollars. Oh, they left the price on it. That's I paid 26 bucks. It. No, there's gotta be something else. That's it. Wow. That is it. We got duped. This is it. You can kill raccoons yourself. Now that you should. <laughs> oh wait, no, there's a skull in here. Oh, thank goodness. Woo! Oh, wow. We got two things. It is a pond turtle for $39. You gave me a turtle skull? It's That's pond. not righteous, bro. Okay, so you see here we have a little pond turtle. I'm I'm, I'm thinking actually I'll give this to Luna. Oh, so she can kiss it? No. Oh. So she can take a peek at it, look at it, understand the skeletal stru structure of animals that she loves. Okay. She's a huge fan of animals. I think most kids are. are do you think she's going to be a little creeped out by seeing a dead one? <laughs> Oh, absolutely not. Luna's no a way. tripper. Yeah, That's my Luna, girl. Luna does no not fear. get creeped out. She is far more manly than I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is freaking weird. That's a little weird. I'm gonna rate this like a six, just because I feel like I'm getting a little ripped off. I think there's some genuine curiosity here and I understand that. I'm gonna go with six. Comment down below if you guys would collect skulls. Not in a weird way, not humans, but animal stuff. That's a little strange for me. Club you say. Club you say. It's four and, a half, five, four and a half out of five stars. Experiment with aim and angles by adjusting and weighing in your trebuchet. Explore the science of levers and how they help machines harness the force of gravity and lift heavy weight. Levers. Levers. No, your dad was a lever. That's a lever. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was a lover, <laughs> not a lever. <laughs> Sold out. So is this a subscription box that just sends you a different trebuchet every month? You gotta really like trebuchets. You gotta be like on the trebuchet subreddit. You know that exists? Oh, I'm sure it does. They freak out. Check this out. Uh, trebuchet memes. 359k. Yeah, just about trebuchet memes. When someone added counterweights to catapults, we were bad, but now we're <laughs> just actual memes about trebuchets, dude. Sold out. Trebuchet. 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 Blueprints, which are really cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this gives me the anxiety. Oh my goodness. Look at these instructions. Holy crap. It's like Legos, but softer. Cool. We're going to have Chanel whip this up and then we're going to take a look at it. Guys, it's been Bill. Look at what Chanel did. It's trebuchet. a trebuchet. If you call it a catapult, get out of here. It's not a catapult. Ow. It's a trebuchet. Trebuchet, trebuchet boys. Trebuchet. The trebuchet boys. Wait. <laughs> this is fascinating. Oh no, it's pretty. Eh. <laughs> trebuchet. Trebuchet. Boys. Boys. <laughs> Why would you buy mini trebuchet when you can just throw? I have a trebuchet right here. <laughs> <laughs> He destroyed the oh screen! Oh my gosh, Matt. He literally... <laughs> he destroyed our TV. Can we get a camera on this? <laughs> well, well, well. Well, that's a cheap TV. <laughs> Hits it with the cube. I rate the mystery box a seven in strangeness, because why would I want trebuchets? But I rate Matt destroying our TV a 10 in strangeness, because now we have to get a new one. I'll give that one a, a six. Nice product. Exotic. Quick. Quick. Delicious. Delicious. Honestly, those are three words that Haley uses to describe me frequently. Exotic. Quick. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Did you not even think but about But delicious. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna be a fan of this video. Yeah, pretty much what we're looking at is exotic nudes. And that's the title of this entire website is exoticnudes.com. In the Japanese language, the term men has always referred to noodles. <laughs> Add men to cart now. Open here. Oh, it comes with a lot of noodles. Look, so first off, we have that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try it. Oh, I have the pink version of it. Mine's vegetarian flavor. Mine's shrimp. What does a vegetarian taste like? I imagine weak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of meat there. Not a lot of meat there. Not a lot of meat on the bones. All right, Tanner, the noodles have been prepared. Unfortunately. Wow. Mine looks sad. It smells like dog food. Wow, that's odd looking, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, I'm always weirded out by that. these by these noodles, like the, the white ones. That just looks like ramen. Yeah, this one just looks like rum. This is a vegetarian one. It smells good. Try it out. It honestly smells like cup of noodles. I wonder why. It's good. It's ramen. Cool. Tastes good. I would say it is. If you like all different types of noodles and you're a fan, I would say it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's I would give strange. it. A, I would give it a two. I would give it a three. Yeah. Not strange. At not all, strange really. at all. Yeah. At least the ones we got. Maybe there's some really so strange. I think it's a dope, but it's not going to be the 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 winner of the strangeness. Yeah, I agree with that. Next product, guys. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Finders seekers, a thrilling mystery delivered to your door. Ooh, receive a curious package every month that initiates a fun and challenging escape room adventure. It's an escape room in a box. That's cool. I love escape rooms in a box. Hurry, supplies are very limited. Ah, uh, oh, bye bye now, bye now. oh, thank goodness. You got it. Oh, oh no! You haven't picked it out yet! Add the cup. This is a pretty cool box. This is really cool. Finders, seekers, not keepers. 
<laughs> what? Go come! <laughs> this is a clue. This is a clue. Don't touch the clue. Chicago Police Department, case number 0516. All right, this is pretty cool. We take out this police case right here. This is a cool date night thing. This is a cool date yeah. night thing. The Society of Seekers has been commissioned by Chicago police to help solve a cold case from 19... <gasps> from 1935. September 3rd, directors at the Art Institute of Chicago discovered that two priceless paintings by artist George Sauerkraut have been stolen. <laughs> In their place were hung two worthless but intriguing canvases. On the gallery wall, a Medici Mafia family crest has been spray painted. Several clues were discovered at nine sites throughout Chicago, all marked with the same crest. Detectives identified 25 suspects but were never able to determine guilt or recover the masterpieces. It's your mission to review the case files and identify the nine guilty thieves. Yeah, so guys, we're clearly not gonna be able to solve this right now. We kind of just want to look at it, see what it looks like, see the quality of it. This is really cool. But if you guys want to see us solve this, go ahead and like this video like 100,000 times. Comment down below, do it live, and we'll do a live stream. If you guys want us to do a giant live stream, like the video, comment, do it live, and once we hit 100K, I'll go live, and we will solve this together. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is like high quality. It looks to be well thought out. Oh, and there's your suspects. Ooh. This is cool. It's got that little foil printing oh, on it. Oh, that way maybe you can scratch it off to see oh, if you can make a guess. Oh, wow. So you have oh. nine guesses and you have to get them all right. You have nine guesses. That's, That's really so cool. So this is the confirmation that you were right or wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's like clue. That's so cool. So this is really cool. We're gonna do a live stream where we do that. Stay tuned for that. Dobernova's gonna announce that on their social accounts. In the meantime, into that next product. Ratty Box. <laughs> Yummy rat treats and goodies delivered directly to you every month. Ratty Box. How many of you guys have rats as pets? I'm not a huge fan of rodent pets. I understand how some people think they're really cute. And then I also understand how some people are terrified of them. Yeah. And I'm like somewhere in the middle. Rats are a little too big for me to be comfortable. I love hamsters. I like hamsters because there's no tails, all fluffy. And they got a lot of personality and spunk in them. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say I'm a fan of you, hamsters. You like tailless animals. Generally. Oh, these yeah, are, see those little mice are cute. They're cute, yeah. These are, I think it's cute when other people have them. Yeah, what's, what's your pet down in the comments below? I think we should buy this, right? We should break it out, take a quick look at them. But then we should have Robert. Robert has two rats. So we should have Robert, you know, show his rat these things and see if they enjoy them. He has two. Let's let's see, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead I'd and I probably have mice over rats. I think rats are a little too scary looking for me. The Ratty Box. We had a ton of fun curating this month's Ratty Box. I hate this font. We hope your babies <laughs> love all their new goodies. Okay, Yogu Drops. I feel like this has Tanner written all over it. Is this steak bits? Dice dates. Small treats. You want one? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> no way you're covering something important. <laughs> Animal. Oh, he got me. It's like a fidget toy for rats. Rats, rats are just walking fidget toys. Can't hear you! We got a little shark hangout oh, spot. That's gonna scare. This is cool. And then, what is that? I think it's a carrying thing. I think it's a bra. It's a bra and you put your little rat right there yeah. and you walk around with it? A little tuck. Let's go ahead and give this to Robert and see what he thinks. Yeah. Hey, thanks guys, Matt and Tanner. It's Robert here, the editor. And uh, here, are, here are my rats. Here's Rocco, the blonde boy genius. And there's Nobu. Let's actually bring the boys out real quick. This doesn't even really look like you can enter it. So it might take him a bit to understand what he's looking at. Diced date in oat flour. These boys have never had anything like this before, so hopefully they enjoy it. Hello, buddy. Rocco. <gasps> and he's gonna run back inside, not let anyone see it, but Nobu's gonna realize, oh my gosh, what has he got? Nobu! Nobu! There you go. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna go and hide, and rats like to hide so that they aren't disturbed. Yeah, Rocco seems to be enjoying it. I mean, he, he does this with every <laughs> food object, so. Oh, it looks like he's finishing up. He's gonna wipe his mouth. Oh, he's gonna do a little head scratch. There you go. My boys aren't very good at playing with toys. They're very smart, but I don't know. They haven't seemed to really enjoy playing with toys yet. We'll try this one. Okay, he's investigating the shark. Yeah, as expected, he doesn't really seem to care about this right now. Maybe one day. Hello, buddy. <gasps> He's going in. What a handsome boy. Okay. Okay, this is a uh, this is a standard rat hammock. Ooh, they love those soft beddings. So this is a lot like what I have in here. I have a bunch of them. Rats like to sleep together. So if you have like five rats, they'll all bundle up onto this and it's super cute. Ratty box. Thank you. Get a good boy. <laughs> all right. Nobu's in. He's going in. Oh, okay. And that seems to be it. So uh, they will definitely enjoy some of these things. They'll definitely enjoy those dates. Hello. I would say, honestly, I don't know how much this costs, but I would say it's a dope. It's it's hard to get things for rats sometimes. They are very unique creatures, but I would say this product is a dope. 
Back to you guys in the studio. Next product. BTS Mystery Random Box Renewal Version. Do you want to unbox your idol? What, what does that mean? Oh, they're just assuming that it's your idol. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're buying a, a mystery box of a member of BTS, you're probably standing there. Idol's right a strong word. Let's take a look, guys. I'm personally a Jimin stan. Matt is a Suga stan. No, it's J-Hope. Yeah, you're into J-Hope. I forgot you said like that. Jesus <laughs> Hope, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and add the card. Oh, J-Hope! We got J-Hope! Someone's gonna clip that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just being so excited about a BTS star. J-Hope! He doesn't look at all like Jesus. <laughs> I'm your hope. Yikes! I'm your angel. Yikes! I'm J-Hope. That makes me sad, dude. He probably didn't even say that, I bet. I'm your hope. I am your savior. <laughs> People have been saying this weird stuff forever. What is this? Hey, it's me. It's a me notepad. Get this open! I can't what even open heck? this. Just rip it. Me and J-Hope be looking Alive, what is though. this? What is the point of that? This um, feels like a knockoff box, not like legitimately from BTS. Oh, it's a towelette. It's a poop emoji towelette. Oh wait, this one, it was on it's here. It's a prank. Your favorite of the BTS is J-Hope? Well, guess what? He's poop. That's what they're saying with this poop towel. Is that like one of their Oh yeah, this is definitely a $50 towel. Is this supposed to just be able to dry off J-Hope? Because if so, he's a small dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he comes out of the shower for his press shoot, he's just like, oh, is this towel too small? <laughs> Shows a little cheek. So, uh, oh, oh. It doesn't, doesn't cover me fully. <laughs> uh, I'll say this isn't that crazy. I'll I would say, say five. I would say this is deeply concerning. <laughs> And so that, that puts it up to like a five. I think it's a five. Awakening in a box. Wow. Bringing crystals and tools of enlightenment right to your doorstep. Oh, we're gonna offend someone with this one. Absolutely. I'm sorry if you believe in crystals. I absolutely do not. Uh, rocks. <laughs> rocks? Precious rose. What I know about like crystals and things like that uh -oh. is the people that practice with crystals, I believe they believe that each crystal has a, a sort of frequency. I'm not well educated on what they believe this frequency is going to do for you, but I do believe that people think as though the frequencies will either attract things or ward off things, right? My so, sister believes in crystals as well, I wanna put out there, and I still think whatever you're saying is crazy, so keep going. I'm not identifying, I'm just educating. Oh, no, yeah, I, I accept your education. I mean, people think what I believe is crazy, they're like, oh, a man in the sky? Yeah. What's so crazy? <laughs> At least we have rocks. <laughs> <laughs> At least we can talk to us. <laughs> I will take a look. I'm a little freaked out by the rest of this. Let's go ahead and subscribe That's now. fine. You don't have to believe. I don't have to believe. That's a fact. They can believe in it without me. My only thing is, what is their definition of an awakening? What are you waking up to? What are you waking up from? And how, in particular, are the crystals going to help you get there? So first we have the the mook. Mookait. Mookait. Then we have the... Dalmatian Jasper, and then we have the Sunstone, all right? So see if you can match these up, and if you match these up correctly, you have awoken. Oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> That's just a game I play. The dog teaches us the importance of strength and loyalty. Okay, this one is turtles teach us persistence, endurance, and longevity. So I guess this is a Sunstone. Lion's roar symbolizes finding your voice and speaking your truth. That is something I've heard it from everyone who's ever been intoxicated. <laughs> speaking your truth. Speak your truth. Yeah. I don't know what this is for. I think maybe it's just supposed to allow people to rest a little bit, and that's not a bad thing. Yeah, like I said, my sister loves crystals. I don't know anything about them, so I will not judge people for them. Um, but <laughs> you can the entire five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been making comedy. You can make comedy out of anyone's beliefs, right? That's just, you can make comedy out of anything. He does it to me all the time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I would say a rock box. I would say six. Yeah, six or seven. Yeah, it's like just enough, just strange enough to where it's like, yeah, you're technically getting different rocks sent to you, but also, yeah, I could just go get a bunch of rocks and put them in a box. <laughs> So. <laughs> All right, next product. Guys, we're going to mouth.com. Contrary to arm.com and brain.com, here at mouth.com, we're selling pickles every single stinking month. Wait, mouth.com only sells pickles or that's just one of their products? Oh, one of their products. Oh, that's just one of they their products. They have cocktails, jerky, best of mouth. I'm a big pickle fan. <laughs> And clip it. All right. <laughs> now is what they say about pickles true? What? They're just fermented cucumbers. Uh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about pickles. You can buy pickles. Most of the store-bought pickles aren't actually fermented. So when you actually get fermented pickles, did, have you ever come over to my house and yeah. I've given you like some real pickles? Did no, we have this you've conversation? never given me pickles before. Okay. <laughs> I just have this memory of giving someone a pickle. I can't. I think it was Ryan. <laughs> you open the door, Matt's like, you want some pickles? You want some pickles? <laughs> so when you, when you actually ferment a pickle, it tastes way different and it's so good. Mm -hmm. It's actually fermented pickles are really, really tasty. It's a pickle box. I'm assuming they've properly fermented a pickle. Let's find out. Ah, pickle! Look at this box! To you from my mouth! Gross, so they're spitting back? Yeah. <laughs> That's how they get the pickle juice. It's just 
saliva. This is just the sign that I'm gonna be protesting with. <laughs> <laughs> Happy tasting XOX mouth. I'm just by everyone else that is like, what's with you? I'm just like, <laughs> Happy <laughs> tasting! What do you stand for? Pickles! Pickles! Here we have the jalapenos. <laughs> mm, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, I'm not gonna try I'm, I'm gonna be sad if they don't actually just have some pickled cucumbers. Okay, here we go. Epic. Chesa, Chesa. Peekles. These got a little zing to them. I got wild dills. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> wild dills. Wild dills. I love it. Now man. this is what's gonna taste good. Mm. That's pretty good. Ooh, it's got a bit of a zip to it. A little spicy. A little zip? Tiny. What Barely. does it taste like? What does it taste like? Cover your eyes and try it. No, cover them, don't close them. Tastes like a pickle. Mm. Try one. Oh yeah, I'll try one. That's good. Yeah, and it, if it was cold, it'd be even better. Mm -hmm. A little weird that it's warm. Do you wanna take those home? Uh, sure, yeah. We just bought a huge jar of like nice pickles, but and whatever. And beans. Yeah, I don't want those. Problem with pickles. You grab them with your hand, you smell like vinegar for the rest of your day. Literally, you could describe yourself that way. I grab my pickle <laughs> and I smell like vinegar for the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, give it a rating. <laughs> it's not wrong. I think this is like a three. Yeah, not that strange. I'll give it a four. How about that? So yeah, jalapenos. My fairy crate, oh gosh. <laughs> he thought awakening was bad. My fairy crate, create your own enchanted garden. No, this is cool. What are you talking about? Uh oh. Did I miss something? <laughs> What? Are you lying to me? No. What is cool about this a fairy is so garden? so cool. Have you seen fairy gardens? They're amazing. Who is my best friend, dude? <laughs> Have you seen fairy gardens? I'm learning so much about you doing videos just with you. <laughs> that is kind of like a little bit I'm sorry, consuming. bro. Give me the keyboard. Give me the mouse. This is a you product. This has This Matthias. is a me product. This has got Matthias I will take this it. home and make a fairy garden with Luna and it'll be a bonding experience. No, that's cute. Like if I went to buy a build a bear, I was like, oh, a build a bear. <laughs> That'd be a little creepy. But if I was like, I'm going to go build a bear with my daughter. I'm about Let's to show you. Creepy. this, bro? You're gonna change your mind. Very few things can sh can you show me about a fairy garden. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sell you right now. Oh, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I'll take eight. A tiny little hobbit hole. Oh my gosh. Fairy garden. We should get these. Okay, so that's basically what this does. Now this one isn't Lord of the Rings, and you don't have to. You don't have to have the fairy out. I think that's a bit on the nose. I think the idea here is that you build this little fairy garden, and then like the imagination of saying, "Oh, a fairy's gonna come, and it's her home, or his home is gonna be there." Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you're attracting like a fairy to have a nice home. It's like it's you know it's imaginative. It's fun for architecture. Kids. Subscribe now, Matt. You're probably gonna be disappointed by this. I'm gonna be disappointed by this. Okay, we have a little gate here. It's not bad, not a horrible start. Okay, we have this. That's a little like workbench for a, a garden fairy. Does that look like Luna? Zoom Luna. in on that. That looks like Luna, bro. A little bit. Same haircut on. Yeah, but... same haircut. What? It was meant to be. You're missing a key part here. Grass. Box. No, you're missing the door, right? So the idea here is you have this little door and you put it at the base of a tree. So it's like you, the fairy walks in and like the whole tree is their home. Oh. This is a little... They're not gonna, like, this This isn't the starter kit. I would say they should have a starter kit that they send out for the first one every time. But I do like the idea of if they gave you a starter kit, every month they give you something to deck it out exactly. even more. Exactly. That's the cool idea. Yeah. I'm gonna rate strange this rating? a rating. A solid know. three. Five. I'll give it a five. I'll give it a three. It's strange. I think it's, like, slightly strange, but I think it's more of a good idea than it is strange. All right. With that being said, what do you guys think was the... Y'all uh, ranked the coolest and the most strange? The bugs were the most strange. The mystery box was the coolest. And... The mis they're all mystery. Box. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the mystery puzzle solved. The clue game. Yeah, thing. the clue game that we're gonna live stream later. We'll was the coolest. You know, was the coolest. The and one the after the bugs. What was the one after the bugs? Skulls. Yeah. The skulls, skulls was the strangest. Was, yeah, skulls. Both of y'all gave the Finder Seekers one a one, so that's the coolest. That's, that's the, coolest. the mystery one. You guys rated bugs as the worst with a collective score of 17. You only gave the skulls a 12. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I rated the skulls low. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. we both did. We both rated six. That's right. That's right, because there's some believability of like someone wanting to be a scien yeah, scientist someone and like going. Yeah. So that Bugs hole. was the strangest one we had. Yeah, tonight. Bugs is the strangest. Well, that's not a surprise, guys. Yeah, comment down below if you guessed right. But in the meantime, go ahead and check out that video right there. That video is a list of all of the mystery boxes we got from Bat19. So please go check that out. Do it. Also, check out this video right here. This is a video YouTube recommends specifically for you. So make sure you guys comment down below if it. that it's right. And check it out. Do it. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I am in love with you. Do it. Bye.